Maize crops withered in Texas this year in a season of record-breaking heat and drought. Here in the Texas High Plains region, crops struggle to survive on as little as one-tenth of the normal rainfall. Matter of fact, it may be the all-time driest year on record. Thomas Marek is an irrigation expert with Texas A&M University. While this was a terrible year for farmers, for Marek and colleagues, it was just about perfect. At this research station, an hour north of Amarillo, they are working to prepare farmers for hotter, drier years ahead. Wenwei Shu leads the team's maize breeding efforts. It's going to become more and more important because uh, climate change, the cold place getting colder, warm place getting hotter. So once you get hot, you got drought. Hot weather and drought turn maize plants brown. That means the end of photosynthesis. That's how maize plants turn sunlight into starchy kernels. But Shu's colleague, Xinghua Shua, identified genes that help some tropical maize varieties stay green longer under these conditions. If they stay green longer, they can photosynthesize longer. Once they photosynthesize longer, they can fill their grain with a longer time. Plants that stay green longer produce bigger kernels in a drought year. The team mated maize with the stay green genes with other high producing varieties to find offspring with the best of both. They use traditional breeding rather than genetic engineering, which is more heavily regulated. But finding that perfect maize variety is not an easy task, says Thomas Marek. There's no free rides in this, so you know you, when you put a gene in or a characteristic in it, you might take a little bit off the maximum production, but then we don't know what Mother Nature's going to hold for that year. This year, when Mother Nature was not kind to conventional maize, stay green varieties produced bigger ears with more kernels than those without the trait. It's a promising step, but it will take more work before these drought-hardy seeds are available for farmers. When they are, the benefits will reach far beyond the United States, Shu says. Once we discover this drought on corn, this germ plasma can be used throughout the world. And the world will need it as climate change makes it harder to feed a growing population. Steve Barragona, VOA News, Eder, Texas.